in terms of um, the subsets that have been evaluated um, at the 2017 ASCO meeting, we presented data in specifically in the treatment-related acute myeloid leukemia subset. The benefit of CPX351 was seen there as well. And in other subset analyses, we've seen a benefit of CPX351 in patients um, um, over the age of 70, so not just in the 60 to 70 year olds, but the 70 to 75 year olds, and a benefit uh, for patients who went on to allo transplant. In fact, the outcome, the survival of patients who were treated on, on this uh, randomized phase three study who went on to allo transplant was superior it, after the allo transplant if they'd received Vixios or CPX351 compared to 3 plus 7. So I really do believe that CP, um, Vixios or CPX351 is a major um, uh, breakthrough uh, in the treatment of this high-risk group of patients. And of course then now the challenge uh, will be um, what other patient populations may benefit and what other combinations uh, will we have to consider. We've been so used to considering um, combinations of novel agents with standard 3 plus 7 or the hypomethylating agents, this is a whole new set of investigations that will have to be done so that we can get safety data on the combination of Vixios with these other drugs.